Welcome back to the Blitz. The best part about a team is its fans, of course, and the Bobcat family lost one huge supporter just a few years ago. Our Bobcat Blitz reporter Caleb Troop had a chance to learn a bit of more about the man who was once the heart and soul of Ohio student section, the Ozone. Is that right, Caleb? Yeah, that's exactly right, Allie. Daniel Lowe is just planning on playing some pickup basketball with some of his friends and Ohio basketball players as well. But Ohio's number one fan and the first ever member of the Ozone spent his last moments inside the Convocation Center, June 24, 2005, a tragic day for the Bobcat family. He was walking into the convo and he called me on the phone about seven o'clock. And I said, Dad, going in to play, we got a pickup game here tonight. He fell down, but then he didn't get up. And he was, you know, kind of, he wasn't moving right. We need someone at the convo. What do we do? We have a person that got hit, he's not breathing. Is everything going to be all right? And unfortunately it wasn't. Walking into the emergency room and uh, Coach Rhodes was standing outside and I said something to him and he just sort of turned away. And I know, I knew that then that, that was not, it was the worst. Just like that, Ohio's number one fan, Dan Lowe, was gone. The six foot, eight inch, face painted leader of Ohio's new Ozone passed away. A trip to the Lowe family's home just outside of Canton, Ohio, takes you inside Dan's love for Bobcat Athletics. These are just a small portion of his jerseys. His, his mom would buy him button down collars, but that wasn't Dan. He's, uh, he would end up in a t-shirt and 90% of the time it was Ohio on it someplace. There's not a whole lot of people that have such a love for something like he did for Ohio Athletics and, and, and that's where we connected. I think he knew how to be happy for other people and if you think about that, that's not an easy thing to do and I just think he really was excited when people did well, and so that's what made him a good fan. Lowe was at every sporting event, and his sighs and screams were hard to miss. He turned everyone into supporters of the green and white, and his passion rubbed off, even to his parents. Well, you knew after the game we were gonna get a call from Dan. We were gonna get a play-by-play -play of what happened at the game, and then he'd take you through the whole game. And that's, you know, things like that is, what you miss. Johnson attends most Ohio basketball games at the Convo. It feels like there's something missing sometimes. And he still wishes he could take in the games with his friend, D'Lo. I feel like a, a lot of the reason a lot of the people are there is because of him. It's something that I don't like thinking about whenever I'm in here. With the recent Bobcat success, Ohio football bowl game, Ohio basketball, Mac tournament champion. I'm sure that he would, would love the direction that the programs have been in the last couple of years and, and you know, seeing exciting stuff like the, the Georgetown win, he would have loved what he's seeing right now and I, I, I hope that he is seeing it. A truly tough day for Ohio University when he collapsed on that convo floor, Allie. It, it sure was, and I heard his parents created a scholarship fund in his name. Yes, yeah, his, his legacy continues to live um, through the E.W. Scripps School of Journalism. They created a scholarship fund, his parents did, you saw in the piece, the Dan Lowe Memorial Scholarship Fund for an Ohio University student interested in sports and journalism. Allie, we see that ozone during every single game, and he was the guy there from day one. That's right. It's too bad he left us too soon, Caleb, but yeah. thank you for that in-depth in look into his life. Thanks, Allie. Be sure to check out the entire episode of Bobcat Blitz on WOUB Friday nights and Saturday mornings at 11. You can watch the show online at WOUB.org. The show also airs nationally on Fox College Sports Central and Sports Time Ohio. Check your local listings for more information.